Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for uh, Pisces. This is going to be for your uh, first half of your February from the 1st to 15th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the need to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Uh... Uh, switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, sorry, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to um, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, also my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels. Um, the links for those are in the description box below. Uh, support me on there too. So tell me about uh, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces here? Tell me about Pisces. Pisces in love and the person that they are connecting with for uh, the second half of their February from the uh, first to the 15th. I'm so sorry, for the first half of February, from the first to the 15th. For Pisces, for Pisces. So we have the full Aries energy, Aquarius energy here. We have the four cups here. I mean, it seems like you guys are looking for more in life right now. It seems like you guys are just, you know, enjoying new experiences, doing things out of your comfort zone at this time here. Um, you know, I do feel like you guys are definitely looking for more, perhaps looking to travel more. I wouldn't say that you guys are opposed to love right now. I mean, you guys are definitely on dating sites, you know, connecting and talking to other people. But when it comes to love, I don't feel like there's anyone in the picture right now that's really, you know, that you're really serious with. Okay, more so that you are doing you now. Yeah, right now, I feel like some of you guys are trying to, you know, maybe overcome and recover from some sort of financial struggle that you've been dealing with here. Some of you guys could be working multiple jobs here too. Two of Pentacles here and the Five of Pentacles to sort of make ends meet. If anything, you guys are focused on maybe looking for new jobs on those uh, job sites, you know, LinkedIn, uh, Indeed, or something like that. Uh, but in terms of love right now, I really don't see that. The Fool card and the Nine of Cups, yeah, I just feel like you guys are focusing on yourselves, focusing on your own happiness, focusing on your passions here at this time. You know, I feel like you guys are definitely sort of like reigniting your own passion here, you know, things that you love to do, you know, uh, you know, things that, that get you really excited, you know, when you get up, you know, so I feel like right now in this very moment, you know, I feel like, like I said, you're not really opposed to love, but I feel like you guys are not running around looking for it or chasing it. Some of the cups here, I feel like you guys have a lot on your plate right now. We have the page of swords here and the nine of pentacles. And yeah, I just feel like you guys are just focusing on your work here and focusing on your pentacles. If you guys are going through some sort of financial struggle here, it does seem like you guys will overcome it. Um, you know, the next series I'm doing is career readings, but this is pretty much a career reading for you guys. Uh, two of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are just really focused on your work here at this time. Yeah, um, I do feel like, you know, when it comes to your work, I mean, there could be an increase in pay that's happening here. Some of you guys could be receiving a promotion here. But personally, right now, with the death card here, some of you guys could be going through some big changes, a personal transformation, just really doing you and really focusing on you here. And that is not a bad thing. That is actually a really beautiful thing here for you guys, uh, Pisces. What else do we have here for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know? I don't see anyone here, but let's take a look. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Pisces? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Pisces for the second, not the second half, the first half of the February from the 1st to the 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. So we have the Six of Swords here, okay, and Judgment. Sagittarius Energy, interesting. Let's see what we have here. Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I just feel like you guys just are just really focusing on yourself. 
focusing on making changes for yourself. Uh, if you, uh, if, um, you know, if there are family members that rely on you right now financially, I feel like you're trying to take care of them too, maybe such as your parents or your grandparents or something like that. Um, two of Wands here and the Page of Wands. I just feel like you have a decision to make at this time. I feel like you might have a decision whether you want to move to a new home around or maybe travel more or something like that. But I just feel like you're just keeping up with what you've been doing here. Just really enjoying new experiences doing things with the open heart, with uh, with the open mind here. Um, and I feel like, you know, right now at this time, you know, there is no new love or any sort of love that you're dealing with here right now. It's more so self-love for yourself. Yeah, uh, you know, right now in this very moment, you could be in this energy of like just focusing on healing and focusing on opening your heart chakra to love right now. Uh, some of you guys have been closed off for a very, very, very long time, but I feel like you guys might be opening yourselves up to that again. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, some of you guys could be starting a new business here. Um, you know, I do feel like a past relationship has ignited some sort of passion, some sort of fire up your butt here to really take charge here in your own life. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely focusing, focusing on your pentacles here. We have the Nine of Wands here. So when it comes to a relationship, I feel like you guys are trying to recover from the last one still. Okay, you guys are just enjoying your freedom here. I mean, this could also be an indication that, remember I was saying that you might be supporting a family member financially. It could be due to someone's uh, deteriorating health here. Okay, the Two of Wands here and the King of Pentacles. We have the King to the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, we have the Empress here. Not the Empress, uh, the Page of Wands here, uh, and the Tower, Aries Scorpio energy. There is someone from your past here that realized that they made a bad, a big mistake here. And they do feel like this person wants to come back, but I feel like they know that things will never be the same again. Um, this person's a bit of, of a blip in the radar here, uh, you know, for you. So I feel like you, you just moved on to bigger and better things here in your life, Pisces. What else do we have here for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know? Look out for work on when it comes to this love situation. For the second, why do I keep saying second half? For the first half of their February from the 1st to 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, with the Eight of Swords here and the Eight of Cups. Okay. Um, there is someone here that's thinking about you. You might be surprised about how this person feels about you. I do feel like this is someone that you, you've been separated for quite a while here. Someone here is thinking about you here. I do feel like this is an older person here. Not older person. This is an old person, a past person. We have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here, and the Hermit. Yeah. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you've done so much inner work on yourself here. I just feel like if anyone does come back towards you, I feel like you're just not giving this person any attention here. I do feel like someone here is definitely coming back. More so, I feel like, if anything, I feel like you're focusing yourself and you feel like you're focusing on new things, which is future new love. Uh, I don't really see that in the cards yet. I feel like more so there is someone here that's just thinking about you. Um, Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Ace of Cups here, and the Ten of Cups. Okay. Yeah, it's someone from the past It's coming is coming back around. You're going to be completely surprised about how this person feels about you. Yeah, or that uh, so much time has passed, you would think that, oh, they would have moved on, but this person has not moved on from you. Strength card, Leo energy, and the Queen of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands and the Four of Wands here, and the Eight of Cups here, and the Empress. Someone here wants to come back around. Someone here is watching you, seeing you as someone here who's very, very, very attractive here, okay? So I feel like you manifested a beautiful life for yourself, and I feel like someone here wants in. Someone here wants you back. But I feel like you've changed so much as a person here that, you know, that this is something that you don't want back. You know, I feel like you just want to continue moving forward and not look back at the past here, you know? So Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.